but I think some of my earliest memories were actually getting towed behind uh, my dad on alpine skis while he was training. He would tow me up a hill as training and I would get to ski down the hill. This is kind of a way that he could train and I could get out on skis. Naturally, I was just kind of born into the whole skiing thing and um, it was just very natural for me to continue that. When I was born, my uncle and my dad were two of the best skiers in Canada, and so was my mom. My dad had gone to the 98 Olympics and then transitioned to Paralympic skiing to guide my uncle Brian, and together they went on to win multiple Paralympic medals. My mom went to three Olympic Games, two before I was born, and then a subsequent one in 2006 after I was born. When I was growing up, my parents put me in a lot of different sports because they knew it was really hard to be a cross-country skier and they wanted to expose me to other sports um, just to make sure that I could find something that I like to do. The biggest moment that made me decide I wanted to be a cross-country skier was um, watching my uncle and my dad compete in 2010 at the Paralympics. Just seeing like the the whole environment of having you know a really big event at home and people competing for Olymp or Paralympic medals that really just sparked a fire in me that that's what I want to do with my life too. And I really want to pursue cross-country skiing as a career and see how good I could become and try and become the, one of the best in the world. Going into the 2020 World Juniors, um, we had um, some good results. And, and so we knew we had a good team. We'd all been top 30. We had, of course, Remy, who was really strong. I was skiing leg one and I was super nervous. You know, when you're in a relay, there's a little bit of extra pressure that you put on yourself because there's three other teammates on that team with you. You know, I just had the goal of just staying with the main pack and just giving our next um, skiers a chance. So, you know, had a really good leg overall um, and I was really happy with it. And I tagged off to Olivier in fifth or sixth, I believe. And Ali started pushing the pace at the front of the pack. and. I think it was around that moment when, you know, we were actually leading um, the chase pack behind the Americans um, that we really believed that, you know, this could be a special day and then tagged off to Tom and then Tom was the leading again and I was like, what is happening? Like, of course I knew, you know, we have our strongest skier in the team, Remy, and on the last leg. So it was just about, you know, we just needed Tom to stick in there and he stuck, stuck in with the pack. and. Yeah, when Remy was coming down the finish straight, um, finishing off that relay, all I had was just goosebumps. You know, I couldn't believe what just happened. Um, I almost cried because I was like, just could not believe it. We had great skis from the Wax Sex. They did a great job and it just, everything gelled for us that day. And we had like the whole support staff there. We had some other athletes who were watching and yeah, it was just unreal. Going back to Whistler for World Juniors this year. 13 years after I got to watch my dad and uncle compete, there's, I think it's gonna be very special for me to get to wear you know, the Canadian suit on the same course that I watched them wear that Canadian suit. I'm gonna really try and just cherish every moment of it because I think it's um, kind of like a cool full circle moment. We've built up a lot of momentum over the past few years and the athletes are all ready. We've got a great support staff helping us out. We're going into this year believing that Canada can be on the international podium. 